Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the class of 2025 induction ceremony. This is the first event our college has had in the McKnight Center for the Performing Arts. And isn't it wonderful to celebrate the class of 2025 in such a beautiful building? It is my pleasure to welcome our new students, family, guests, and the College of Veterinary Medicine faculty and staff. I am Dr. Margie Gilmore, the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, and it is my honor to welcome and to introduce the class of 2025. I would like to acknowledge and thank all of the family and friends who have encouraged, supported, and sacrificed to help get each member of our new class where they are today. Your roles in the lives of these future veterinarians cannot be overemphasized. Each year we celebrate the achievements of our incoming students as they embark on this new journey in their lives. So today, please join us as we celebrate the class of 2025. I would like to welcome our first speaker, Dr. Lee Denny, president of the Oklahoma Veterinary Medical Association, who will be followed by Mr. Cody Gingrich, president of the OSU CVM Student American Veterinary Medical Association. Dr. Denny. Thank you so much, Dr. Gilmore. Uh, well, I bring you greetings from the Oklahoma Veterinary Medical Association. Uh, we are over a thousand members strong, and we're very excited about this new class that's starting down the road to their professional career as veterinarians. Uh, veterinary medicine is an extremely rewarding career. It's very varied, and we offer an opportunity to be both professional and both be animal welfareists as we go forward in veterinary medicine. So to the class of 2025, best of luck as you begin this professional journey, and we look forward to many, many years of professional association. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As Dr. Gilmore mentioned, my name is Cody Ginrich, and I'm the current president of the Student American Veterinary Medicine Association at the College of Oklahoma State. Over the past week, I have had the absolute pleasure getting to know the students here during orientation. It is an even greater pleasure to be chosen to speak at such a special occasion for them. These students have received a lot of information this week, but I hope after today they are excited and ready to embark on this incredible journey. As you may have noticed outside, the class of 2025's class poster. During orientation, they were divided into small groups where each individual group were, was given the opportunity to express their creativity and write down three words that they wanted their class to embody throughout their time here. As they incorporate these thoughts on their pieces, you can see it all comes together to create a truly beautiful picture. This will follow them on their journey and serve as a constant reminder to this class of this individual student's unique and creativity, while at the same time it serves as their community and they are one family. Today marks the beginning of your journey throughout vet school, a journey for some that began as a child, but for others may have begun more recently. Over the next four years, you will be tested and you will be rewarded. You will succeed in many things, and also struggle in some others. But the beauty of it is, there is no one way to succeed through vet school. Each one of you had a different journey to get here, and each one of you will have a different journey to graduation. Classes you thrive in, may, some other students may struggle in, and vice versa. However, as we talked about this week, in veterinary school, the competition is over. You are all here today, together with one common goal. Your classmates are your support system. They are your friends. So use each other, lean on each other, and most importantly, help each other. This journey will offer you so many rewards, but it will also come with many challenges. As you face challenges, 
overcome them, learn from them, and keep moving forward. You will grow and learn more about yourself than you ever thought possible. Take it from me, it was only two years ago that I was sitting in your exact seats. Since then, I have experienced the rewards and challenges that come with veterinary medicine. And with these few years of knowledge, I would like to give you guys a couple of options for some advice. First, hold yourselves to a higher standard. You are now in a professional program, and it will represent Oklahoma State and the College of Veterinary Medicine wherever you go. The world of veterinary medicine is a small one, and you now represent this community. So remember that wherever you go and whatever you do, always strive to put your best foot forward. Your classmates, your instructors, and clinicians will become your future colleagues. And these colleagues you will lean on in the times that you face hard cases, and they will help you to get through. Secondly, I want to advise you all to keep an open mind. You have so many opportunities within the College of Veterinary Medicine. I hope you all will step out of your comfort zone for a second and try something new. You will be exposed to animals of all kinds. And though you may not be able to you may not think you can stay up to the task because you have no prior experience. I'm here to tell you that is not the case. So join the club of the species you know the least about. Go to that wet lab that you, of an animal that you've never touched before. This is your chance to explore all the options that this career has to offer. After all, you will be doctors in veterinary medicine, a title that is meant to serve all. Lastly, and in my opinion, the most important piece of advice that I can give you is don't forget about your family and friends that helped you get here today. Veterinary school is about to become a huge and very important part of your life. However, it does not need to become your whole life. Devote time to your family and friends along the way. Allow them to share in these cherished memories that you will make. They are going to be a blessing along this journey and the people that you will lean on most. And with that, I would like to conclude my speech today by thanking everyone in this room. To the friends, family, and loved ones, thank you. You deserve as much credit as these students who are here today. Without your constant love and support, they, they may have not made it this far. To the class of 2025, congratulations. I want you to relish and enjoy the excitement and feelings you're sitting there thinking about right now. And remember this as you take your journey through vet school. Everyone in this room is rooting for you, and we wish you nothing but happiness and success as you move forward. Get ready, get involved, and get excited, because now you are entering into one of the greatest professions on this earth. Thank you, and as always, go Pokes. Well said, Cody, thank you. <laughs> Leadership is fundamental to the cultivation of a rich educational environment that fosters professionalism and scholarly achievement. The College of Veterinary Medicine is fortunate to be led by a group of administrators who stretch boundaries and continuously work toward our college vision to be innovative world leaders in healthcare, research, and professional education. I would like to recognize and introduce to you the administration of the college. When I call your name, would you please stand and be acknowledged? Dr. Carlos Risco, Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine. <clears throat> Dr. Jerry Malayer, Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Education. Dr. Jeff Studer, Director of the Veterinary Teaching Hospital. <laughs> Dr. Jerry Saliki, Director of the Oklahoma Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. <laughs> Dr. Dan Burba, Department Head, Veterinary Clinical Sciences. <laughs> Dr. Teresa Rizzi, Department Head, Veterinary Pathobiology. Dr. Martin Furr, Department Head, Physiological Sciences. We have a very special guest with us today, 
Dr. Andy McCabe, the CEO of the American Association of Veterinary Medical Colleges. <laughs> I would also like to recognize our faculty coders present today and the faculty, staff, and students who have worked for several months on recruiting and admissions and on the planning and accomplishment of this orientation week and the ceremony today. These individuals are dedicated to the success of our incoming students who are honored here today. Would all who participated in any of these activities please stand and accept our appreciation. Before we start the coating, let me explain the symbolism of the gray coat. The color gray is the symbolic color assigned to the veterinary medical academic degree. At graduation, you, are, you will wear a gown with gray trim symbolizing the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degree. We chose gray for today's ceremony to recognize your goal of obtaining your DVM degree. In less than four short years, you will be, be, you will be back in this building for graduation and the hooding ceremony. That will be the day the college recognizes your accomplishments and achievement in obtaining your goal of becoming a doctor of veterinary medicine. And there is nothing that makes us prouder than to see our students enter the profession we love and contribute to society in so many ways. Today, each student will be coded by a member of the CVM faculty or by a guest coder. Guest coders are a veterinarian or a professional in another healthcare field who have played an important role in the student's journey to this day. Students, we want you to think of the college as a family. We are here to support you, to provide a sense of inclusion for you, and to have great pride in you. In addition, we will have high expectations of you. We want to instill in you the desire to always be the best veterinary professional you can be. And now, I am pleased to present the students of the class of 2025 for coding. Dr. Jeff Studer will be our faculty coder for the next 10 students. Katherine Ackerman. Everett Alford. <laughs> Catherine Allen. Olivia Airy. <laughs> Rebecca Atherton. Alexandra 
Baker. Alyssa Barta. Catherine Bates. <laughs> Leah Beltrone. and Cameron Benet. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Rudd will be our faculty coder for the next four students. Kylie Brown. Sarah Brown. <laughs> Kristen Burton. and Morgan Busby. <laughs> Taylor Cartmel is being coated by her mentor, Dr. Brent Pitts. Dr. Rudd will continue coding the next six students. Jacqueline Casto. <laughs> Carolyn Kristoff. Allison Conchiglia. Bradley Davidson. Shailen Disotel. <laughs> and Savannah Dawkins.
Dr. Teresa Rizzi will be our faculty coder for the next 10 students. Kimberly Downing. Carrie Duval, <laughs> Elizabeth Aguizio. Jordan Eldridge. <laughs> Tessa Fackler. Ashley Feely. <laughs> Jacob Fuller. Ashlyn Garrison. Mary Gaston. And Emma Gildner. <laughs> Dr. Jerry Ritchie will be our faculty coder for the next three students. Jacob Galahar. Rosemary Goodwin. And Alyssa Guerrero Everett's. Bryant Haig is being coded by his mentor, Dr. Lauren Lamb. Yep. There must have been a change in the script. <laughs> Dr. Ritchie will continue coding the next seven students. Kelly Hearn.
Audrey Height. Haley Henderson. Clayton Hicks. Alyssa Hudzik. <laughs> Julia Hyatt. And Ashley Intahar. <laughs> Dr. Susan Fielder will be our faculty coder for the next eight students. Lauren Yannick. Erica Jensen. <laughs> Rebecca Johnson. Olivia Johnston. <laughs> Jordan Kendall. Kaylee Coling. <laughs> Tanner Kumlodi. and Shelby Lamascus. <laughs> Taylor Landreth is being coded by her mentor, Dr. Jennifer Schoonover.
Dr. Katrina Meinkoth will be our faculty coder for the next four students. Mandy Lawson. Paige Lee. <laughs> Zachary Lott. and Brea Ludwig. <laughs> Nyla Mayer is being coded by her mother, Dr. Janine Mayer. Dr. Meinkoth will continue coding the next six students. Margaret Marsh. <laughs> Emily Martin. Kylie Meadows. <laughs> Caitlin Mills. Karen Mills. <laughs> and Allison Morgan. Dr. Danielle Dugat will be our faculty coder for the next five students. Ashlyn Morris. <laughs> Emily Morrison. Anna Lynn Newton. <laughs> Lexi Oncal.
and Leslie, Oregon. Kaylin Palmer is being coded by her mentor, Dr. Melissa Tillotson. <laughs> Dr. Dugat will continue coding the next three, three students, Lauren Palmer. Shannon Park. <laughs> and Madison Petrie. Ellen Pfeffer is being coded by her mother, Dr. Cheryl Pfeffer. <laughs> Samantha Price is being coded by her mentor, Dr. Justin Graham. Ashlyn Rasmussen is being coded by her mentor, Dr. Jessica Carter Arnold. <laughs> Charles Reynolds is being coded by Dr. Dugat. Emerson Richter is being coded by her mentor, Dr. Becca Hines. <laughs> Dr. Daniel Burba will be our faculty coder for the next three students. Adrian Ruder. Cooper Sampson. <laughs> and Jadzia Sanaki. William Shelby is being coded by his father, Dr. Michael Shelby. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Berber will continue coding the next seven students. Emily Shoemake. Emily Slay. <laughs> Kristen Slupsky. Alexandra Smith. <laughs> Madison Smith. Jaden Smith. <laughs> and Bailey Sokup. Dr. Roslyn Biggs will be our faculty coder for the next 10 students. Victoria Spate. <laughs> Tabitha Stang. Alyssa Stevens. <laughs> Jennifer Stroh. Krista Svensson. <laughs> Katie Swanson. Catherine Swinsky. <laughs> Sabrina Vero.
Isaac Verkamp. And Lucas Veith. <laughs> Dr. Jill Ackerman will be our faculty coder for our last nine students. Abby Wagner. Jordan Wampler. <laughs> Haley Weathers. Preston Webb. <laughs> Allison Whitaker. Katie Williams. <laughs> Taylon Williamson. Carly Wolf. <laughs> and Jessica Yater. Some overarching themes of the educational experience at the College of Veterinary Medicine are acquisition of knowledge and skills, leadership development, lifelong learning, and a strong sense of service. The goal of your training is for you to become competent and confident veterinary professionals. But please remember that confident doesn't always mean having the correct answer or pursuing the boldest action. Please remember it's okay to say, I don't know, as long as you follow it with, but I will find out. Leadership is also an important attribute of the veterinary professional, and we have many opportunities for you to gain leadership experience and skills. However, leadership doesn't always mean being the president of a chapter or a club. 
The leadership skills that you will model every day in practice include the professionalism, integrity, strength of character that you demonstrate in challenging, challenging situations. And you will be facing some of those challenging situations. Something that may come as a surprise to you is that at the end of what may seem like a very long four years, your learning has really just begun. Realizing the learning curve is steep following graduation and seeking the guidance from mentors is critical to becoming the best veterinarian you can be. And maintaining that thirst for knowledge and competency will not only ensure an exciting and a dynamic career, but it will also enable you to always provide the best care possible to your patients and to your clients. Lastly is service. We typically see veterinary medicine as a service career. There is general practice, diagnostic labs, specialty medicine, government, and corporate service. We would also like you to consider and experience the service of giving and gratitude. There are many ways to give in the veterinary profession. Volunteering in a community, being a mentor, uh, participating in certain organizations, there's lots of them. And find something every day that you are grateful for. Knowledge and skills will keep you intellectually fulfilled, but service and gratitude will keep you emotionally fulfilled. Now, would the class of 2025 please rise and be charged with a veterinary student oath? I'm going to read the oath in its entirety, and you may signal your acceptance at the end by saying, I agree. As a veterinary student at the Oklahoma State University College of Veterinary Medicine, I promise to work conscientiously to develop my scientific and medical knowledge and skills for the benefit of society through the protection of animal health, the relief of animal suffering, the conservation of animal resources, the promotion of public health, and the advancement of medical knowledge. Throughout my time here as a student, I will conduct myself with dignity and professionalism and in keeping with the principles of veterinary medical ethics. I accept as a lifelong obligation the continual improvement of my professional knowledge and competence. Please acknowledge by saying I agree. Please be seated. Well, we already did our clapping, but ladies and gentlemen, the College of Veterinary Medicine, class of 2025. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us in the celebrating the class of 2025 this morning. Students, we look forward to getting to know each of you over the next four years, and we wish you the very best of luck. We will see you on Monday. Um, for right now, please remain seated for the class photo that will follow. Guests, we ask that you exit to the lobby and enjoy our refreshments while we set up for that class photo. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>